Hey guys, and welcome back to Z3 Cubing. Today I'm going to solve this 6x6 six one turn per mile. I'm here at the southern border of Vermont. And behind me is a trail that stretches all the way north to Canada. And right here is a 6x6 Rubik's Cube, which I just scrambled up with a brand new random sequence of moves. My goal is to solve this cube, with the only catch being that I'm only allowed to do one turn on it for every mile that I walk down that trail. I have, of course, planned out a solution ahead of time. I don't want to get to Canada before this thing is solved, but I'm using the exact same method that I would normally use. Now, I just finished traveling 18 hours straight to get to this point, so I'm going to go get some sleep, and then we'll start bright and early tomorrow morning. And here we are on day one, mile zero. Let's go ahead and start earning that first turn. And that is mile one. For my first move, I'm gonna choose a three BW. Mile two, FW. That makes our first white line. Mile three, D. Three UW prime, B. UW prime, B. DW for our second white line, L. We're up to double digits. For 10 miles, let's do a UW prime. U2, three RW to build another white line. DW, L, three BW, three UW prime for our fourth white line, R2. And with mile 18, we'll do an FW to finish off that white center. Not bad for the first day. Three UW prime, L, UW prime, L prime, R, UW prime, DW2 to build half of that yellow center. Now I think one marathon is about good for day one. So let's do a three FW prime and then find a place to stay for the night. Good morning on day two. Let's pick up right where we left off. L2, three FW, R2, L, UW, DW, L prime, three UW to finish off our last two yellow bars. U prime, three LW prime, LW2, U2, three LW. Also, nice view from up here. And right at the 40 mile mark, let's do an LW2 to finish off our first two centers. That's one third of the first step complete. UW, that was an easy blue bar. F prime, DW, which creates another blue bar. B, R2, DW prime, three DW prime. UW2, that's another blue bar. R, DW prime, B, three DW. Mile 53, UW2, that builds another blue bar. And let's go ahead and stay here for night two. And let's keep moving as we start day three. B prime, DW2, UW, and that's the blue center complete first thing in the morning with some bonus red bars just by coincidence. R prime, UW2, L prime, UW2 to get those first two red bars into place. DW prime, F2, DW, three UW prime, R, three UW, F prime, R, three UW, R, UW, F2, UW prime. And for mile 74, let's do a three DW prime to finish off that red center just two more to go. F prime, DW, UW prime, R prime, UW. And I think 80 miles is a good stopping point for day three. So let's do a DW prime and I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning. And day four, let's continue. R, three UW, F, three UW prime, F, three UW prime, R prime, DW, R, which in this case stands for rain, which just started. Three UW, UW prime, R, UW, R2, it is now dumping rain and the trail has turned into one massive puddle. Well, I don't know if the rain is stopping, but what is finally ending after 95 miles are the centers. With a DW prime, all six are complete. R2, U, R prime, DW prime, and mile 100. Let's do a three UW2 to finish off that first edge pair. Now for mile 101, I'm gonna do an L prime, and then I'm actually gonna pause right here and take advantage of this convenient road to go run some errands. All right, it's actually the beginning of day five. I'm all restocked on food, everything's charged up. So let's go ahead and continue. D2, U prime, L, R prime, U, R, DW2, three UW prime. UW2 will finish off our second edge pair. L prime, D, L2, D, L prime, three UW prime. UW prime to finish off our third edge pair. R prime, D2, R, B. Weather update, it is once again raining. D2. Weather update, it is no longer raining. B prime, DW, three UW, UW prime to finish off our fourth edge pair, making good progress. L, D prime, mile 129, L prime. Well, I wasn't expecting to see that here, but I guess this is a good spot to stop for the night. So let's go ahead and pick it up on day six. F prime, U, F, DW prime, three UW prime, edge pair number five. F prime, D prime, U, F, three UW two, UW prime, Edge pair six, R prime, F2, R, F2, DW prime, three UW prime, UW prime to finish off our seventh edge pair, and it's raining again. U prime, just had to hunker down in a thunderstorm for about an hour, F, U, D prime, F prime, DW prime, mile 154, three UW prime, 
See you tomorrow. Happy tomorrow. Let's get started. Let's do a UW Prime to finish off our eighth edge pair. First thing on day seven. L Prime. D. L. D W. U W two. Three U W Prime. F two. B two. R two. L Prime. B Prime. U. L Prime. Mile 169. Wait a minute. What? Okay, guys, I think I just broke my hand, but it's okay, because I have an idea. Mile 169, B, 3DW Prime. Quick weather update, it is raining again. DW for edge pair number nine. UW Prime, F, L Prime, U. Mile 176, F Prime. Also, I'm finally back to a trailhead where I can do with my hand, so I'll let you know what happens. Well, the bad news is, I did break my hand. But the good news is, it's now two months later, it's almost fully healed, and I've traveled back across the country again to pick up where I left off. So let's go ahead and get started, as if it were still day eight. L, UW Prime for our 10th edge pair. Unfortunately, it does look like we have parity for our last two, but there is a pretty nice algorithm to fix that. DW, F2, L2, DW2, L2, DW, F2, DW2, L2, DW, L2, F2. And at mile 191, just pretend the first 176 miles are still added on there. Let's do a DW2 to finish off all 12 edge pairs. This is also gonna be where I stop the shortest day of the trip. I got a late start and I'm working on basically zero sleep, so I am excited to get to bed. Day nine. Let's get started with three by three stage. B prime, D2 with an amazing view up ahead. R, F prime on top of the highest point in Vermont. It's almost as high as where I live. L2 to finish the cross and start working on the first pair. R prime, U2, R, mile 200, U, L to finish our first F2L pair. R, U, R prime, L, U, L prime for F2L pair number two. U2, B, U prime, B prime, U prime. R, mile 214. Uh, never mind, let's do it in the morning. U, oh, and it's day 10 by the way. R prime to finish our third F2L pair. U2, B, U prime, B prime, U2, B prime, R, B. And mile 224 is gonna be an R prime to finish up F2L, giving us more edge parity. Luckily I inserted that last pair so that we only have to do this one algorithm for OLL. U2, 3RW2, B2, U2, 3LW, U2, 3RW prime, U2, 3RW, U2, F2, 3RW. Looks like I forgot mile 237, so I guess Z4? F2, mile 239, 3LW prime, see you in the morning. Good morning on day 11. This is your final weather update. It's raining. B2, 3RW2, and the PLL is a J perm. U, L prime, U prime, L, F, L prime, U prime, L, U, L, F prime, L prime? My phone just said welcome to Canada, so we must be getting close. U, L, and mile 256, U prime. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, I take it back. Oh, I just double checked, and I guess it was supposed to be a U. So, mile 257, U. What? That didn't work either. Well, I guess the only option left is mile 258, U2. Oh, you know, I know what the problem is. We just had to make it to Canada first. So after 259 miles, the length of an entire US state, while climbing 72,000 feet in elevation, the equivalent of two and a half Mount Everest, over the course of 11 days, of which 115 hours were spent hiking and breaking just one bone along the way, it's finally time to finish off this six by six with a U prime. Uh, 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 there we go. So here's the really foggy national border. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. It's definitely among the more insane things I've done for this channel, but that's pretty much it. And welcome to Canada. I'll see you guys next time.